हेलो मैम माय नेम इज सौरव ओम प्रकाश लड्डा थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी टुडे आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर सेमेस्टर फोर प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग आवर प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक इज ई आर टी ओ मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वेर आर टी ओ स्टैंड फॉर रीजनल ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफिस नाउ द नीड फॉर डेवलपिंग दिस सिस्टम इज एज वी ऑल नो द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज ग्रोइंग डे बाई डे एंड सो मोर एंड मोर पीपल आर अप्लाइंग फॉर द लाइसेंस टू ड्राइव अ वहीकल्स ऑन द रोड नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ हैविंग अ टेडियस पेपर वर्क we are providing an online system at where 60 to 70 percentage of the work which means to say that the paperwork is done on the system itself so that there will be less rush to the office and the office workers can also do their work properly and the citizen of india now will have to just apply online for the license to all upload all the documents and next for only giving the examination he or she will require to go to the regional transport office for of their particular regions now talking about the type of people that will be using this uh, system are in total 3 so this three users are first citizens of india second admin of a uh, office and third employee of the rto office now i will be describing about the functionality that will be provided by the system to all these three types of user so first talking about the user uh, means citizens of india so the citizens of the india will have to just apply online fill all their personal details into the application form second uh, upload the documents now here there will be uh, in total three types of documents they will be required to upload first it was the age proof second is a proof of identity and third is a residential proof next after doing this they will be required to uh, book an appointment for their uh, license uh, for examinations next they will require to pay the fees now we are providing a two ways uh the user will have a two choice either they can pay online on the system itself or the user when it is he or she is going to the uh, office they can directly pay at there also next uh the user can also check the pay status that either they have paid uh, what amount of money on the system next uh if by mistake if the user misfills any information into the application form like uh, then uh, he or she can also update the application next after all this steps after submitting the application uh, the system will generate an application details for the user and this application details will be required at the regional transport office next if the user want to cancel his appointment for the particular date on which he has booked the appointment then then he can also cancel the appointment next uh, there are the various forms which are be required by the user to upload during an application uh, for an example like a self declaration form next there is a learning license test also which says that uh, a uh, system will provide a question and answer book uh, so that the user can refer to it uh, before giving an examination in the office uh, next there is a view slot status so during a uh, booking an appointment for the examination or either for the uh, driving skill purpose he or she can check that what amount of users are currently enrolled for that uh, particular time now talking about the second type of user for the system which is an employee which is working into the rto office now the functionality for the employment or uh, for the employees are a uh, system will provide a way that uh, they can validate the application by seeing a data field by the user while application while applying for the license next uh, uh, he or she will validate the uploaded documents next uh, after this uh, if all the goes right then the system will generate an exam pin number for the user if he has come for the learning license next uh, for this exam pin number will be required to be entered into the some another functionality of the system so that ex- uh, system will generate a 15 questions randomly and the user will have to give the answer in the 30 seconds now after that the system will generate a result for the learning license examination so if the user has given an 11 questions uh, out of 15 questions a uh, correct then the user will be success otherwise the user will be failed in that test 
now next if the user has came for the driving license then there will be a uh, and driving skill test and the next there will be an appointment status that can be checked by the employee that whether how many uh, uh, currently the active appointments are being going on how many are pending and how many are been fulfilled next uh, uh, there is a functionality of an issue license so after all the examination if the users completed all the requirements completely then system will generate a license for him now the third type of user that will be working uh, with the system uh, is an admin so first uh, uh, an admin can register itself next uh, an admin can uh, register the employee for the IT office he or she can block an employee can delete an employee he can also check the account status to get the amount of money has been came in the month day or week uh, next an application statistic that how many amount of uh, applications have been pending fulfilled or active so this was all about the functionality related to the three types of user so after talking about the functionality uh, i have divided this system in total three modules so which can be shown with an help of the dfd structure so here is a uh, dfd uh, data flow diagram for the project so there are in total six modules first is a manage application next is a download module third is a manage appointment fourth is a manage employee fifth manage statistics and sixth is a license module so for manage application there will be all functionalities for managing an applications that uh, are registering online uploading documents then uh, all that stuff next there will be for the management appointments like booking an appointment selecting a slot updating an appointment download module so download the application details after uh, submitting an applications next downloading a self declaration form we can also uh, we are also providing a, fun a functionality of downloading a question and answer book next uh, is a uh, giving a li learning license uh, mock test so there is an uh, an exam paper of an 15 questions that is been generated by the system uh, for an every user so similarly like that that there is one uh, example type of an paper so that the user can check itself before appearing for the examination next uh, manage employee that registering updating and editing an employee next is a manage uh, statistic in that uh, uh, we are providing a view slot statistic that how much amount of uh, user are currently enrolled for that particular time next is an appointment statistics uh, next account statistics and verify the pay status next is a license module that uh, the now this module will be particularly implemented with an help of the employee that employee will validate upload uh, validate the upload documents uh, application details next i'll generate an exam pin number and examination will be taken if all goes right then there will be an uh, issue license will be there now this is a data flow diagram which shows all the things in a diagrammatically way so this is the home page of our erto management system So this is the services that we are providing. This is the about us. Now to check this website system, we will be using a Selenium for that. Now this is some of the following demonstration example. So with an uh, we will be uh, writing a code into a Python language, and uh, we will be checking. Uh, that whether the code goes right uh, with respect to the website so if everything is good then our website is ready for the deployment purpose so now this is the some of the examples that uh, has been conducted during a lab session these are some of the images of our website now we will be going for seeing the code so this is the code and we will execute this code
now coming to the required for uh, setting the path to the folder which contains all the files we will be change our uh, we will be changing our environment which contains a selenium in that so i have already created virtual environment erto now we will be executing the python file so the testing is being started and firefox will open soon first of all it will display the home page of the website next is maximizing the window next we will be checking our services which is learning license driving license license details book appointment question answer book and news regarding the licenses next will be about us now we will be registering ourselves for applying an license So the code is doing is work exactly per all the fields values full name age birth date education address state city pin code mobile number profession and now we have successfully registered we will go for the login after login we will have to book the appointment select your vehicle type select your license type appointment time appointment date and after successfully appointment has been updated the browser will be closed so the code has been successfully executed So this was all about the testing purpose. So thank you ma'am for watching for the video. We hope that you like our project.